Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor. Last time, we stopped the invasion by Wu at Ling Ling Castle. Uh-oh. And, yeah, it looks like there were more casualties along the way before we got here, apparently. Oh, <laughs> um, maybe he's just sleeping. I'm not quite dead yet, sir. But, uh, no, those are the only guys who have anything new to say around here. So, now that we've fended off Wu's invasion of Ling Ling Castle and Wu Ling Castle, Liu Bei will have some new stuff to say. So, how about we just save, reset, reload to wherever Liu Bei is to continue the plot. What's going on? I thought it was Sun Quan who was claiming the title of Emperor. I think they got the names mixed up. Sun Tse was the guy who was assassinated. But uh, Sun Quan is claiming the title of Emperor as well. Oh, right. Nuts. Uh, game? Did we soft what? No. No, the game just pauses there, uh, for dramatic emphasis? I don't know. But, in any case, yeah, that would be a problem. I think the dialogue is going back and forth between Liu Bei and whoever's at the head of your party there, but they don't, like, denote who's saying what there. So you just gotta, kinda have to keep track of it. Yeah, why not? Well, I mean, you already took a throne. Multiple thrones. Well, you've already done that with all the enemies that you've made. What's one or two more? Well, how's that? Oh, okay. Does that really matter? Well, I suppose they are probably going to try invading us again. Oh, yeah, that's true. I like how Liu Bei, I don't know if they're trying to have him show some humility, not immediately accepting that he has to declare himself emperor. It's my duty to be in charge, to, uh, keep the peace. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that. What do you mean? Oh. Okay, I'm not sure why that matters, but, I mean, they probably still want to kill you anyway. Oh, in any case... Yeah, I suppose we should, uh, well, I would say a preemptive strike, but no, they kind of attacked us first. So, uh, retaliation. Okay, and you're gonna tell us how to get there, right? Oh, okay. Uh, let me see. I think if we leave and come back, he says something different. Maybe, I don't know. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, now they got the name right. Sun Chen and Cao Pi are the bad guys. So I guess they're both emperor? Or maybe like a twin emperor sort of thing? Or I don't know. But yeah, that too. So you're going to tell us how to get there, right? No, they don't tell us where to go to woo, I guess. Um, yeah, kind of important. Need to know information, but I, I checked as many NPCs as I could, and I didn't see anyone saying where you're supposed to go. So, I will tell you. But first, yeah, let's, uh, we got a couple people who say some new things. Oh, yeah, I suppose so. But, uh, okay, yeah, that's everything around here. Let's see, I would like to go back to Changsha because that is closest to where we need to go to advance the plot. But, yeah, I don't know how you're supposed to know. Maybe the game assumes that after talking to Liu Bei, you probably want to go just check in on Guan Yu or 
Zhang Fei and maybe figure something out that way? That's the best I can come up with. But in any case, yeah, why don't we uh, check with Guan Yu? Oh, right, right. Oh, and where are we attacking? Yeah, they're not telling us. And Zhang Fei says the exact same thing. So, yeah, I'm... Yeah, you got me on that one, viewers. But I suppose it's not the most opaque mechanic in the game. Or sequence trigger. But in any case, uh, let's see. As long as we're here, let's check out the new guys that we picked up. Guan Xing, who has nearly as good stats as Guan Yu. And I think he's also a Tiger General. Though... Yeah, his intelligence is leaves a little bit to desire in the long run. And also with uh, Zhang Bao there, once they're in your traveling party, you cannot billet them here at the headquarters. And yeah, he's got, well, he's got better intelligence than Zhang Fei. But otherwise, yeah, pretty similar to him, and that's not as much as I would like to have in the very late game. So, yeah, I'm just going to leave them both at the headquarters because I would not be able to remove them later when it might actually matter. And also, while we're here, let's see, I ran out of gold wings. So I would like to hold on to at least two gold wings at any given time, just in case I need to leave a dungeon and then work back somewhere okay uh did i buy both of them okay good for some reason i thought i might have hit a wrong button or something but uh okay so now i'll just tell you where we need to go we need to go to guiang castle so let's head back over there yeah the game seems to have a lot of really weird situations where the game pauses for no apparent reason. I, I don't know. I'm probably just a programming thing, but I kind of like to think it was, uh, like for dramatic effect or something. But in any case, from Guiyang, there's a bridge to the south. So now we can head on over there and that'll take us to the land of Wu. I kind of like to think when, uh, like, like with Zelda 1, for example, when you have a lot of enemies on the screen the game kind of lags there a little bit and of course as a kid i had no concept of lag in games i thought that was like intentional i guess or i didn't really think anything of it like i guess i kind of thought of it as like the game slowing down for dramatic effect or something but in any case uh oh oh okay they got over ten thousand soldiers now Holy cow! But, uh, let's see, this guy does not have anything that I care about, so I'm just gonna go all out and see what happens. Get him below 10,000 soldiers, and we should be good the rest of the way. Are you going to attack me? No, apparently not. But yeah, when you have over 10,000 soldiers, just like every other power of 10, you get a much bigger multiplier on your damage. In this case, 25 compared to 16 like we have now. And let's see, over here, let's see. Yeah, we got a cave over there, but uh, I'm gonna save that for a little later when we need to go there. For now, let's just continue around here. I mean, I suppose I could go into the cave right now if I really wanted to. But I don't. I'll wait until it, we actually know why we would want to go there. But can we take down the first castle in Wu? Find out next time on Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor. This is Ichi Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.